The Redeemer has risen. Hey, what's up guys? Masleaf here, and as I promised to CGF, here is the video on Command Post and on R13. I'm also going to do a map review of the, the two maps that are in this uh, map pack, the new iteration that is, which is R13. Anyhow, once you've registered, uh, you're going to be greeted with this um, page here. This is Command Post on the home screen within the program. And uh, as you can see here, you can join the Discord server. Uh, the Discord server is continually expanding. Uh, the community there is growing. And, uh, you know, you'll find all your notifications here. If you do get notifications um, in your desktop, what you can do is you can hit this button here and you can uh, disable the notifications by right-clicking on the uh, command post icon in the bottom here and you can uh, disable notifications here. Also, you can exit the game, which is a really useful feature in my opinion because I used to go into command post to exit Kane's Wrath, but nowadays uh, you can just press this button or command post open and it will go away. And uh, the program continually, uh, whoops, continually uh, updates itself. Now, the various features of this program, uh, we'll go on to them now. Here is a replay uh, tab, which you'll find all your replays in, which the default fo program for this, uh, default folder, sorry, for this is in uh, users, documents, and then Kane's Rough replays. And this is where you'll find all your replays. And uh, I played a few games versus Bike Rush yesterday. I'll open this one. There's a, a few options here. One to analyze the replay. If you press this button, you'll uh, see um, the statistics of that replay. You can see all the actions that were done in that game. And uh, it's interesting, these statistics, because you can see that some players use Control Group 4 and others don't. I mean, if I deselect none of these and then go select Control Group 4, and I apply filters, you can see that, you know, only Bike Rashones used uh, that control group. Uh, so if you're if you're interested in what hotkeys your opponent uses, then this is a good tool to di dissect the replay and um, see what kind of things they've done in that game. Uh, not only that, but uh, as I touched up on in my last video, you can go to this um, tab here and it will show you the APM of that uh, replay. And uh, average APM here is a bit ridiculously high, probably because CGF is... Uh, this is probably bugged here, it would be. Uh, if I open another replay, it should be bugged like that, though, really. Yeah, this this one's more accurate. So, this is this is how you'd see the, the APM normally. So, that's the replay tab. It also shows you the replay owner and other, like, metadata. And uh, I hope these are the games that you, you've posted or the users are, have posted as well. The, this uh, this site this program is pretending to be an alternative to gameReplace.org. Uh, it could take off in the future, as you can see. The the more the more common uploaders are uh, Technique and Flangpart, but uh, we look to improve this um, UI in the future as well because I don't think uh, it displays enough replays currently. Anyway, moving on to the next tab, this is where you update the map packs. So this is map pack one, map pack two, map pack three. If you want to um, switch version, you can click this button here and uh, you can go back to R12 or even back to R2 if there's a replay that you wish to watch which is on a previous version. So even if you guys are just interested in watching replays from years ago, this is a tool that is going to make life a lot easier watching replays because you can easily um, uh, back, uh, you can go back on, on a previous version. And currently R13C is the latest version, so yeah. Uh, if you download this, this will update your map packs 1, 2, and 3, which it stands for 1v1 maps, 2v2 maps, and this last mass pa map, map pack here, map pack 3, is FFA and 2v2 maps, if you're interested. Uh, beyond that, though, uh, that's about it as far as uh, map packs go. It's a useful tool for uh, keeping your map packs up to date. Patches. No one really uses the patches because there's a the the this map pack here allows people to join uh, 102 games that are hosted on um, uh, Revora, which are usually Red Zone Rampage. But uh, Red Zone Rampage now is even in the 1.02 plus uh, map pack. So uh, even if you guys are looking to play Red Zone and even FFA maps like uh, Tib Guns 3, you should definitely get R13C because it contains all the bug fixes uh, of uh, 1.02 plus and uh, even disables quad turrets as well, which was a, a prime um, cause of uh, desyncs in uh, FFAs. Well, I would know that because I played like a, a several thousand FFAs when I started playing this game. And uh, most of the time, noobs would just go for quad turrets without even knowing that it desyncs. And I had, to, I had to mothership them, which is why I started to play Traveler a lot, because I just wanted to kill off those players that made quad turrets. Because if you engaged with air or infantry, 
the the turrets would desync the game on the spot. Moving on, custom maps. Um, this this would have custom maps here. Uh, not sure what this is, but yeah, um, tournaments. We're looking to expand this as well. You can host tournaments here and even join tournaments. I joined this one earlier. Uh, not, I think this is just a, a dummy tournament though. Uh, and uh, these are automated tournaments, so the, the, this one here is going to happen in 11 days. You can sign up to this if you want. Uh, according to this, uh, Bikebrush has apparently offered a $240 cash prize pool, though I'm not sure if he's continuing to stick with this one. But uh, anyhow, this is the VPN service, so if uh, we're looking to play a tournament one day that uh, Game Replays and Revora don't um, support, we can uh, organize it and play on uh, this VPN server here, which has been so far pretty stable. The games to come, which I play versus Technique, have been played on this, uh, in this VPN server here. And uh, onto the Users tab, you can see that the user, user list is continually expanding. And there's even a chat here, though to be honest, most of the chatting is done on uh, Discord, which I highly encourage you guys to uh, to join if you're interested in um, being in part of the community. And I'm not sure what this is, but I think that pretty much wraps it up. That is going to be Command Post, and uh, of course there's a few other things here, which uh, profile details, etc. And uh, what was the? There was also another thing. Oh yeah, if you right click on a user, for example, if I right click on a more uh, more known user here. For example, technique. If I go user profile, you can I can see his upload replays, his matches, and also activity and statistics. So if I press this, you can see the amount of games that Technique's played. He's got 311 recorded. And by the way, this tool runs in the background. It will record the games that are played in the background. And what it does is it, it can uh, do statistics of your, your games that are played. So you can find out what faction you're best with if you play random a lot. And uh, this is unsurprising for Technique because his nod is is the best. Screen, uh, I'm a, a bit surprised by that. I didn't think uh, that uh, Technique's screen was uh, too amazing. Black Hand is his fourth, uh, surprisingly, as far as win rate goes. And, you know, this is the amount of games that he's played Black Hand. Uh, GDI, he's surprisingly played a lot of GDI games. And you can see other, other useful stats there. And, uh, you know, his most um, commonly picked maps, you can see that he played a lot recently on Tiki Turmoil, which I found to be one of my mo more preferable maps. I really like that map. Uh, I think it will be one of the more played maps in the future. And there is a metric ton of maps now in uh, 1.02+. And here, uh, I can't make much of this, but this is where uh, you can find out how that player has done on a certain day, as far as win rate goes. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, that's going to be Command Post, and uh, we're going to go into the games, and more specifically before that, I want to touch upon the maps, uh, review, do a quick review of the, the two or three new maps that have been uh, released in uh, R13. So yeah, stay tuned. Alright guys, in order to get Command Post, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open your web browser. In my case, it's going to be Google Chrome, and you're going to want to put in the search bar, you're going to put in CGF uploads dot net if I can spell properly which I can for some reason okay and uh, when this page loads you'll see a link here to download command post what you're gonna want to do is you want to download this of course you can also uh, join the discord server as well my internet is rather slow right now so uh, some of these images might not appear but yeah what, what you want to do is you want to download uh, command post and in order to register despite this login option here you're going to want to uh, download Command Post to register it because the register, uh, to, in order to register for Command Post, you have to download the program and do it within the program itself. So, uh, yeah, that's how you uh, get Command Post. All right, guys, Masleaf here again. Going to do the map reviews of the two maps which are in this uh, patch. And uh, the first one being Tiki Turmoil. And I'm going to use these V35 oxes to reveal the fog of war because there's enough way of doing it. Uh, so I thought this would be an ingenious method to um, like reveal the fog of war. Anyway, uh, it is a very large map as you can see. Rush distance is pretty significant on this map. In fact, I've had a few games already on it and I found that rushes tend to struggle, especially with this uh, terrain here, which makes it hard for bikes to, to go around. I mean, they can't go straight to kill enemy harvesters. They have to go around this area here and they can get sandwiched in between uh, pit bulls and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, uh, it also reduces the rush distance somewhat. 
But uh, either side, uh, start with a uh, medium-sized Tiberium field here. And to the right or left of their respective bases, they will have a blue Tiberium field, which is in this entrenched location here, surrounded by cliffs, which is going to protect their harvesters versus things like bikes and pit bulls. But on the flip side, stuff like orcas, hammerheads, they're going to be uh, lethal in harassing harvesters at this field here. So you have to be uh, well in position to defend versus orcas uh, if you are um, up against GDI and uh, you're leeching Tiberium. Anyway, um, scrolling up here, we can see that uh, the right hand side has his expansions there. This is where his start location would be. And, you know, this is where his expansion is. A uh, nice distance between uh, the expansion and the uh, the home field, not too big, like Predator's maps, which favored bike buggy all ins because. You know, the distance between your, your war factory and your expansion was enormous, so you couldn't really reinforce quickly on those maps. But uh, the, the really weird thing about this map is that uh, when you uh, arrive at this field here as the top player, uh, usually this field would belong to the bottom player, but uh, the moment you're expanded on in the bottom as the top player, this field all of a sudden is contested and actually belongs to you, as well as this spike here. So things get twisted around a bit, much like the how Twisted Rift is designed. And I really like that aspect, and uh, I w wish to see more maps that are made just like that. Anyway, uh, scrolling up here, we can see there is a uh, middle plateau here, which is uh, raised quite a bit above uh, the ground. And uh, you can see it's defended by two defensive towers, so you want to be wary going through this middle bit if you're rushing. I know it is a quick way to rush your opponent going from this Tiberium field to there. It is the quickest route to your enemy's base. However, it poses quite a risk when there is defensive towers, which could like stop Reckoners and Flame Tanks and shut them down really easily. So yeah, uh, I really like the fact that there is two defensive towers here. Besides that, either side have two Tiberium spikes, one here and one here once again. And it is pretty much mirrored on the uh, left hand side for the bottom player. You can see this is where his first expansion would be. And up here, this is his second, as well as the Tiberium field uh, for the top guy. So uh, yeah, this is uh, quite an interesting map. There is a number of uh, chokes, I guess you could say, favors multi-angled uh, pressure and attacks. Uh, this map uh, is really good for my style of play because I uh, genuinely perform better on maps such as this. And there's also a lot of models in these maps which didn't belong in the game in the first place. For example, here, um, which looks pretty cool really like the, the the effort that Technique has gone through in order to make this map aesthetically pleasing. Uh, this map so far being his best as far as visuals go. But uh, yeah guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, first map review and um, this map looks promising. I really think that players will uh, find this map enjoyable to play and it'll be as standard as uh, the maps that we play a lot now, for example, Odyssey and Highlands specifically. Uh, Tournament Rift, not so much anymore. But uh, yeah, that's the first map, uh, Tiki Tur Turmoil. All right, guys, this will be the second map of this uh, newly released map pack. And this map will be called Troops of Triumph. And uh, we can see that uh, the spawning location for the top player is uh, right here in the top right hand corner and in the bottom respectively for the bottom player. So that's where the spawns would be. And uh, next to their starting field is another field, which is relatively small in my opinion, compared to the other uh, maps in the game. The, the expansion distance is quite uh, large as well, but there's one thing to take note of here, is that you can actually drop your MCV here, deploy it here, and you'll have build radius to this area here, which at first I didn't quite realize, but when Technique, when I played Technique, um, he ended up putting his refineries there with his MCV uh, expanded to that location, so. A little quicker expanding to that point. Anyway, just the north or south, if you're in the top, is going to be your safe Tiberium spike, which uh, almost every map has in the game um, in the 1v1 mapped uh, rank pool. And there you go, there's your Tiberium spike. And to the north of it is another Tiberium field. Um, I'm not sure how you would expand on this map. I suppose you'd go from this field to this field logically because it's a quick expansion. And then uh, to the right of that is a a field that is kind of entrenched in a in a, in an area such as this. Um, again, I'm not sure how how this is going to work out. As I said in that previous uh, map re review on Tiki Turmoil, with the blue fields, is going to be 
posing such a risk um, when you're against uh, GDI. Orcas are going to be very, very powerful at harassing in these uh, locations because of the, the terrain being impassable for land units such as bikes and pit bulls. So that's one thing to take note of if you're against GDI is that, you know, you, you could be quite vulnerable to harass here. Anyway, to the top you can see there is going to be a blue Tiberium field. There's actually a blue Tiberium field in either of the top left and bottom right corners. And I'm doing my best with the V-35s to kind of reveal the shroud. Uh, I found the other way of doing it. And to the left of the blue field here you can see there's a mutant hovel which um, serves no real purpose in my opinion. One thing it does do though is it keeps you in the game in a base tray situation. So if you're in a base trace situation, capturing this could mean the difference between winning and losing the game. Because many players don't know that that actually keeps you in the game. If you lose all your structures, that counts as a building. Much as the reconstruction drones does for Skren if you lose your, all your building as a Skren. And this is pretty much mirrored in the bottom as well. You can see there's another mutant hovel here. As well as that blue tabroom field, which is uh, grown by the way. I think it's grown quite a bit, unless it starts at zero. Most of the maps on the, uh, in this game uh, start at, at zero. And there is going to be an EM key control center right next to that as well. Uh, so I'll be interested to see how this is used. Um, I don't think many people know that it's there yet. And uh, there's one thing I failed to mention is that there is an expansion point uh, nearby in both of the third expansions. Though I can see honestly players expanding with their MCVs once they've dropped two refineries here. If it even warrants two refineries this small field. I'm a bit, I'm questioning the size of this Tiberium field. Or maybe it could be that the, the field is just a little more denser but it looks smaller. But it actually has the same value of Tiberium as the other maps. Uh, but uh, yeah, it is an interesting map. There is a lot of uh, avenues to attack your opponent from. Uh, I've found stealth tanks to be very, very good on this map. Uh, it really tests your ability to multitask as the last map did because it's very open and wide. And there's a lot of uh, assets on the map for you to take if you are in commanding position of the game. So I really like it. There's also a number of uh, defensive structures uh, as well, uh, which could serve vital scouting information, for, for vital scouting information that is. So yeah, um, this is going to be Troops of Triumph, and it'll be interesting to see how this map goes. I'm a little bit more on the fence about this map, a little more reserved compared to the other map which I've reviewed, which is Tiki Turmoil. So we'll see how this one goes. Um, hopefully it does well. If not, we can make a changes because in R13 we have the ability to uh, update maps um, at will basically because it is the map the command post tool facilitates the updating process a lot so you don't need to go to websites such as game replays so yeah guys this will be the re map reviews for the two maps and I'm going to play some games on these maps right here the maps that you just saw and uh, yeah uh, enjoy hey what's up guys Masleaf here I'm going to do some games versus technique so you just saw that advertisement that I've done for R13 and uh, you know the command post program which I talked about so I'm gonna do some games on these new maps that you know have been included in the new map pack which is uh, patch 1.02 plus R13 anyway I'm gonna be versus technique here so don't expect the best commentary in the world I am doing this live by the way I always commentate live I know it's kind of foolish of me to do this because it does take away some concentration but you know what I'm just gonna go with it just gonna roll with it and we're on the map uh, Tiki something I, I honestly don't know at this point what it's called but uh, obviously when I uh, you, you would have heard uh, the real map name in the uh, in the build-up to this game I'm gonna play games on all of the new maps that have been released in this version and there's a defensive tower here. I could have taken that defensive tower though, to be honest. Look how much space there is for the flame tank if he does go for one to like uh, go around. I mean, it's it's hardly covering much ground, is it, really? And relative to everything else that is. Now I can see his MCV and he's going to see the... Yeah, okay then, that's bad. Where's my other... Have I got another buzzer? I suppose I could try and sneak this up there. As long as I can see his MCVs though, I, I can guarantee that he's not all inning me then that's all good. I'm also going to sign a bookmark to his, oh fuck, technique. This is technique. This is not a noob we're playing against here. This is going to be technique and he just packed his MCV up at the time you would expect someone to pack up the MCV. 
And I think he may be just baiting me here. Uh, I think he, he, I think he will go bikes. Something tells me that he will. So I'm going to expect it, honestly. I'm going to queue a seeker at 99%. Uh, I'll actually get one up now to deal with this buggy. I just don't trust him. I don't trust him at all. And Technique here, I'd imagine, is just going to go for his patented uh, four harvester, two or factory all in. I expect that from him. Now, these two seekers, I if I didn't make them and he was doing some kind of mind game on me with the buggy first, I would have lost to the bikes. I'm just doing this as a... You know, just in case that he is playing these fucking next level mind games on me. Anyhow, I need to know what he's doing right now. I need... I'm, still, I'm still a bit paranoid. I don't like the fact that I can't scout him. That's really what I don't like right now. Go for some uh, disintegrators anyhow. And we're going to see what exactly he's doing at the moment. Get this buggy back. Um, don't have any one seeker. Did he go go for a push anyway? I'm not exactly sure. I'm just gonna take out this bike, and Bob's your uncle. I did manage to defend relatively well there. He is pretty ahead of me though, all things considered. I also was forced to cancel my stasis chamber as well. I get that uh, stasis chamber up and running. And I also want to spot for where his descents are exactly at the moment. We can probably try and see if he's taking blue Tiberium up here. And I need to focus on getting my tech center up for Mecha P's because he's going to go and spam mass buggy now. He might be going Scorpion tanks as well, which is also a thing. But uh, yeah, I need to scout the, the perimeters of my base just to see what exactly is going on. So I know he'll probably be flanking me at the moment. And this upgrade takes forever. It feels like it's taking for an eternity to fucking upgrade. Got it now though, finally. Okay, he's got bikes over there. We're going to be in position to defend versus this. He's got something over here. He's got mass buggies there. Okay then, well I guess uh, more descents is not an option now. And I'm going to like evac with these uh, descents and maybe try and attack him where his buggies are not right now. Got a bit of descent up there standing by. And he's falling back to base which is smart because he knows that he... I could be moving out with descents. There's a lot of mind games in this, in this game. I don't think he killed any of my harvesters. Let's stop repairing this anyway. And here he is coming for one big attack in the top. Gonna start planting down shredder turrets, maybe. Okay, he's moving in with uh, units now. I'm gonna go for tripods and a storm column here and just uh, get all my units like in position here. And let's see if he can detect these bikes, which are gonna get focused down. I don't think he is going to, though. And he's gonna lose all of his bikes there. So maybe a little bit distracted by the fact that he's getting attacked in the top. Nice hold, though, from me. I'm going to get my tripods out now. I'm pretty much in the back foot, like I said before. So I'm in a lot of trouble here. I mean, he might be moving his MCV. He might be able to kill some of his harvesters here, if I'm lucky. And you can move it towards the harvester to reveal it. And he's going for Venoms now because he knows that I might as well just kill some of these Scorpion tanks while I'm at it. Or not even a single one going to go down. But yeah, I did clean up those bikes, which is good. And let's just maybe try and stop him from harvesting blue Tiberium. We'll take blue Tiberium anyway at the moment. And we're just going to keep spamming out tripods. Maybe go for a hexapod, if I have time anyway, to get a hexapod up. Might not have the time though. So let's see what he's doing over here. 
Okay, he knows I'm moving out. Technique has this eyes everywhere at the moment. Okay. Positioning is of the essence on this map. Uh, might want to be careful with this harvester. As it returns back to base. And he's going to go through laser capacitors. I probably should have gone for... Yeah, technique. Um, good positioning by technique in this game. Positioning very, very good from him. And I just need to be careful that I don't uh, lose my seekers. Need a commando for my prodigy because I, you know, obviously intend to lame in this game. There's no, <laughs> there's no freaking other way I'm gonna win otherwise. Get my tripods in position here. Okay. Um, I might have one clicks, which is a problem. I wouldn't advise engaging that into that man if I were you. Nope, he's not going to. Smart call. I'm gonna go for an airfield just to spot for his MCV because I'm probably my best bet at winning this game is to uh, take his MCV with a commando. So we'll get one commando out just to spot for his MCV. And I'm gonna continue taking uh, that blue Tiberium, which is ever so nice. And that commando as well. So here he comes. Obviously, I need to try and time this correctly. This Venom um, Storm Rider Scout, so that he doesn't have Venoms all over his MCV by the time I'm ready to take it. I think I may be forced to go for like uh, one big push here. This is a bit unfortunate. Uh, maybe an Overlord's Wrath in conjunction with Temporal Wormhole would be a good option. I think I'm going to go for that. Alright, so here goes nothing. We're going to see what happens here. Uh, I don't imagine much, but we'll see. Get the Hexpot out on the front line. As well as my anti-air here. Alright. So let's see how he... I'm going to stop this though. At least. So I'll throw down this. And in conjunction with the Overlord's Wrath. It's going to be very, very powerful this. I'm going to take... going to do tons of damage here. We want to dispatch these Venoms too, if we can. Alright, um, maybe I could sell some of these structures off instead for save or cancelling this Redeemer. Okay, well that's good. Did my Hex, my Redeemer just die? Yes it did. Fuck me, that was bad. My, I should have faced that hexapod. If I had done that, maybe I would have won. Didn't realize he had so many avatars. Those avatars definitely almost uh, caught me by surprise there. Wasn't uh, multitasking good enough. And, uh, hmm. Oh yeah, I made that one Storm Rider to spot for the MCV, but there was no need for that in the end, was there? I think I might lose this game. He still is on tier 3. I think I'm pretty much dead here unless I go for a, a mothership. Mothership might be the, the way to go here. Okay. Um, it's really my only way of winning this game. So let's see how it goes. I need to try and like mothership this area here. It's my only hopes of winning. Our base is under attack. Construction complete. Right. Well, 
you should know this is coming. I mean, he knows that this is my only way of really coming back into this. It's going to be a miracle if I win. I don't think I will, though. Just don't think it's going to work for me. I'm going to queue an anti-air turret for the, for the mothership, obviously. Let's see what um, I can do with this uh, wormhole, which is going to be done in a moment. He knows that I'm going to do this. Well, he should. Uh, he's got his redeemer out. That's bad. I can still win it, though. Oh, my God. He just knows that I'm uh, going to do this, doesn't he? Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? Okay. All right. Almost. Good uh, hold by technique, despite it all, all the odds. Um, I think I will lose this. Technique making it very difficult. I did exhaust all my means of winning this game. That was my last ditch effort, and that's going to be GG. So this is uh, the first map on the new R13 uh, map pack. Uh, very good map, requires a lot of multitasking. And uh, those blue fields in the top and bottom obviously uh, add a lot of dynamics to the gameplay. And the flow of the game is very good as well because of uh, just the, the, the terrain and how it is. So that's uh, well played the technique. Um, I did win the last game. To be fair, I didn't record it because I wanted to warm up. But yeah, I uh, can't uh, take anything away from Technique's victory there. I did get a lucky snipe off his bikes, but uh, and subsequently I lost my Seekers for nothing. And I think those would have been a great uh, help in that uh, last engagement. In fact, if I just kept that Hexbot alive, if I phased it, maybe I could have maybe got something out of it, but uh, not to be. Alright guys, Masty here back to showcase another map. And this one will be called Troops of Triumph. The author is not Technique in this one. I've never played this map exactly before, so this is the first time I've ever played this map. And I'm going to frantically scroll over the place to see where my spike is, and it's right there. So I'm just going to grab it. And uh, this is how I played in that last game versus Bike Rush in Kane's Rife World Championship on Mountain Pass. I've never played that map before, so I was forced to kind of make it up on the fly. And what is Technique? He's going to be random as well. And uh, I don't expect that message to be around forever because, you know, that's just because uh, it's a new map and it needs testing. We haven't played it, so we're going to try and s we're going to see how good it is. It's a very lush map, though. Lots of uh, vegetation and yeah, I can get behind it. It looks very nice. I don't know how it plays out, though, yet. Uh huh. Is this my natural? No, this, this is my natural right here. It's quite small, though, isn't it? I mean, look at the size of that. That's nothing. There's a bigger Tiberium field here, though. It looks like either one of these guys. Um, yeah, I do agree. Agree with Technique. It's going to be a Scrin faction. And I just don't have my bearings on this map, so it's going to be quite difficult for me. I do have a general idea of how to beat Scrin, though, I'll tell you that much. Um, see if the Stormrider builds works on this map. Probably will not, because I don't think this field is big enough to warrant uh, a refinery. I guess I'm, I'm going to have to expand to it, though. Uh, is there any blue tip on this map? It's just so sp scattered, isn't it? The tip fields. Very different. I have no idea where my expansion is. Uh, I guess I go this way. I'm trying to work this out. Technique over in this corner here. I'm going to sign a bookmark to his base, as I always do. And I'm still Talons, which kind of sucks. What is he? Is he not Traveler? He's Scrin. Okay, well, that's uh, at least a sigh of relief. He's not going to be Traveler. He's not going to be having a Prodigy, at least. And that last game just shows how even when Traveler's on the back foot, they can still make, like, miracles happen with stuff like Motherships and Hex Lame. And, you know, even that uh, Temporal Wormhole plus Overlord's Wrath combo was pretty lethal. He hasn't got any scouts in my base. I suppose it may be a little... Deceiving this Tiberium field. It might be actually bigger than you think. Oh, interesting placement of the MCV there by Technique. I didn't realize you could 
expand there. There's no blue Tiberium, is there? There's not. Is he going Seekers? He's not going Seekers. I think the nearest blue tip build is just over there. I mean, in the rush dist the distance of that is not very much. Mutant Hovel there. Combat Engineers did receive a buff in this uh, patch, so I don't think they're going to be used very much. Okay, going to get some MRTs out, I guess, because he's going to try and do some Seeker Harass. Is he going for more than one Seeker or just a singular Seeker? No, he's going for more of them. Okay, so he's going to see everything I'm doing here, which is not really what I want to see. I'm going to dispatch this without selling my refinery. Okay. And I'm going to be okay versus stuff like uh, Seekers with this build I'm doing. Take this blue Tiberium. Don't feel I need any more MRTs right now. Be as quick as I can with this uh, build and see what he has over there. Go for Titans, I guess. Is he going Storm Riders? Let's see what he's doing here. He hasn't got anything. I need to try and reveal his base, though. So I'm going to call in some V35 scouts just to reveal his base. I suppose I'll get some missile squads in the harvesters. Uh, there's nothing there. I use these ox transports to scout him. He's he's on he's on tier three now. That much I know. Okay. Kind of could be a little faster than what I am here, but uh, it is what it is. I'm gonna sign a bookmark to my airfield here. Bit of lag, not sure where that's coming from, but it is what it is. And he's gonna go for tech. Let's get an orca strike down on this uh, on this uh, warp chasm, maybe. I think the warp chasm probably better to do that on. Right, so here goes nothing. He's got seekers there, which I forgot about completely. All right, let's see if I can destroy this. And that's going to go down at least. So, yeah, I did cancel his hexapod at least. Okay, I'm going to take out this uh, tech center. He's going to go down. He's not going to have shard upgrade. Oh, he does have shard upgrade. That's bad. That's pretty bad. Uh, however, I'm going to be okay here, I think. And he's just going to do what i done, uh, which is spam seekers. Uh, yeah. Probably going to have to destroy his war factory here. Did I just lose my war factor? I think I did. Yeah, I just did. And he's got one tripod out as well. It's just such a weird map. I guess I can't really assume what works and what doesn't until I've played the map properly. And this one tribe are going to be a real fucking pain in the ass to kill. Oh fuck, I think I can get that upgrade. Did lose one Firehawk also. Did I lose all my ham harvesters? Yes, I did. That's going to be GG. So I guess, I don't know how that works. I'll probably play another game on this map because fuck me. 
for, for all I know, I don't know what works, what doesn't. I guess because the, the tip field faces me, um, I mean faces my opponent, it's hard to to make uh, that work because I'm not really entrenched in my base. Alright guys, must leave here, back to do another game of Steel Talons, uh, funny enough. And I'm going to be versus Technique once again. And so far Technique just trashing me, though he's played these maps more often. I should try and make less excuses though and more focus more on the gameplay. So, uh, yeah, free advertising to the guy, to the author of this map. Um, once again, guys, I hope you do download um, the R13 um, map pack. And uh, even if you don't play 1v1, we have a lot of maps now that, like, um, I want to split this, this... Wow, bloody hell, that thing's crazy. What a, ner what a buff that is. I think he just buffed the rate of fire, not the DPS, though. Hopefully he hasn't, otherwise it's like a commando. You know, minus the HP, of course. You know, Descents would be pretty sick on this map because look at all the possible entrances that it can come from. Like, literally five or six entrances to the base. It's going to be very difficult to scout. I'm going to take out those uh, militants there. And I'd imagine an all-in would work good on this map. Once you're in your second expansion, which is in this entrenched area, I'd imagine it'd be quite easy to hold back your opponent. Air on this map looks to be very, very powerful, so maybe if I go for Orcas plus Pitbulls it would work really well. Or Hammerheads even. But yeah, he's, he's gonna keep me trapped in my base. Want to spot for potential rushes with bikes. He did go for that um, Raider Buggy first. So hopefully he's not going bikes this time. I think he's just doing this to a... This is, this is something I really don't like. When you don't know the scouting patterns, you can lose the game based on this. This. I'm going to actually risk it this time and not bother. And he knows I'm still Talon, so why would he rush me? It's too risky. He needs to rush at least with five or six bikes. And I can see more or less my base right now. So it's all good. Maybe he doesn't trust me. Maybe he thinks I'm rushing also. We go for pit bulls anyway. Maybe two or factory pit bull spam would be good because I know that he's going to do. And that might give away the fact that I might be ecoing here. Let's see what he has over here. No harvesters at that tip field. And I'm going to see uh, what's going on in his base right now, see if he's going for a wow, I'm really a bit muddled up here. Okay, I think you can see this two-war factory. Um, you can see that I don't have anything in my expansion right now, so he probably can assume that I'm doing this. So let's see what he's got over here. I assume that's his natural expansion. So I'm going to go and see if I can uh, attack his natural. Maybe sniper harvester. And it's going to be interesting to see if he uh, is onto this or not. He's got a scorpion tank out. Just one though alone. That's not going to be enough, is it? Wow, is he going to really hold me back here with going for eco? I guess the rush distance is just that big. So it's not exactly going to work, is it? Okay. Oh shit, I'm going to get sandwiched in here, aren't I? He's going to leave a gap in, his, in the base there. He's going to leave his base and that's going to leave his harvesters uh, exposed. I'm going to kill this uh, two harvesters here at least. And I'm going to get away pretty scot-free as well, which is nice. I traded uh, only a few... Pitbulls for that, which is good. Not sure if it's worth double dropping refs on that field, but I uh, guess we'll soon find out. 
Shit, I'm all over the place here. This is how technique work works. He tries to kill all your units when you har harass him. He's on tech now already. That was a quick tech up by technique. Probably gonna try and one click me. Just don't have any income right now. I, I did d damage him somewhat. God, my fucking units are so out of position. We go for orcas. Maybe take some uh, blue tabirum up here. I have eco, but just nothing besides that at the moment. It's going to be catastrophic if he doesn't one click because I didn't spread them out, the refineries. So hopefully he doesn't uh, one click me. Because that would be pretty damn bad if he does. Go do as I did in the first game and call in uh, call for transport. Press this infantry squad because he's going he's gonna to use it for scouting, isn't he? Later. Oh my God, is he all in? Hopefully he might be all in. I think he's going for maybe triple laser strategy. Okay, let's see. We've got an expansion here. He's not going infantry, at least. There is always that. He's losing a lot of his tanks. Go take out these uh, tanks. And get a decent trade there with the Orca assist. Fuck me. Can I not? Oh my god. Stealth tanks. Didn't see that. God, he just has so much. How does he have so much though? probably going to do a tib vein detonation on that or tib vapor bomb uh, he's fucking got me here i assume that wasn't from an all in that engineer anyway maybe when i learn these maps better i can give you guys a better like demonstration of them but it's been incredibly hard for me to get games versus decent players that's going to be GG, so... Yeah, Technique uh, beating me here. Did he actually bother? Did he expand in the end? I don't think he did. Is he, was he ahead of me economically? No, I was actually ahead of him. So I guess the stealth tank's just proving to be very effective there. Uh, I did uh, get a nice trade with Scorpion tanks, but uh, allowing those stealth tanks in the back to do the work for Technique to get back in the game, that's going to uh, seal it up for him, and that's uh, another game for me lost. <laughs> Alright guys, Musty here, coming back to do uh, probably the final game. Just uh, doing this uh, video to give you guys an idea of the new maps and, you know, how they are. And I'm playing versus one of the greatest Kane's Rob players of all time. Anyway, this is going to be Tournament Dust Bowl. It's pretty much Tournament Dust Bowl, except there is one small catch. There is a spike in the uh, top and bottom quadrants of the map, instead of in the middle. Because our aim was to remove the poker in this map, which was plagued by uh, that in the past. Now, I did just play a game versus technique on Tournament Dust Bowl, or this map to be exact. And I had to uh, stop uh, midway because for some reason it just lagged like crazy. I'm not sure if the VPN has anything to do with that. But he, he mentioned that he played a lot of games versus purple earlier and there was no lag so maybe it's just me maybe it's my connection it could be uh, but yeah I'm gonna go we're gonna we're gonna roll with it and we're gonna get this game uh, finished and wrap this video up at th th these are the three maps that are in this map Paul and what faction is he hopefully he's not nod once again because he keeps getting nod from random it's very fortunate enough to oh for fuck's sake really 
pretty sure he's got random rigged right now. There's no way you get nod that much from random. And yeah, it's just it's really, really laggy. It could be the, the VPN, as I said. I'm going to dig a foxhole here, which is going to be very annoying for him to deal with. If he didn't want to place a Shreya turret down, maybe because he would store his for funds. Oh, fuck me, I forgot my engineer. Uh, I'm just uh, all over the place right now. This is what this is what does to me. I, I keep focusing on little bitty things, and then I end up throwing the game. Anyway, uh, going to get my expansion uh, done, which is going to be a, an eternity late. And this wouldn't be so late if I had actually bothered to... He's going to do that now, which is going to suck for me. Ah. Yeah, we got my spike. That's why I was so behind with the economy. Is he going for two war factories? Probably is not. Let's see what's going on with his war factory. Uh, reverse move MCV. Buggy can't block it when it's reverse moves. Didn't know that. Well, there you go. Learn something every day. I'm going to go for Pitbulls now once again, as I've done in that uh, game on. I need to learn the names of the map. The, this, these maps are so new that I haven't exactly memorized the names of them. But... Yeah, I, I need to scout his war factory. He's, he's only got... I think he's just ecoing right now. It's going to be an eco game from either one of us. I think. Yeah, he's going eco. And I feel like going for two war factories because you can go for mass bike buggy. And uh, the age long question is is bike buggy better than pit bulls? And we're going to find out if that's the case. We're going to take out this bike here. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? How am I so unlucky? He's going four refineries, man. What the hell? I should be able to punish this. Alright, well, at least I got one bike there. Just struggling to shoot down the bikes. Uh, probably not got a good enough spread on the refineries there. Those harvesters, like, you don't realize what those harvesters are doing. They're actually uh, soaking up tons of damage for the, for the bikes. I'm going to keep spamming out those uh, pit bulls. He's just going to spam out Bike Buggy now, it seems. I'm going to try and hit him from two sides. And uh, maybe sell one of these refineries off as well. And he's going to be... And it's very risky doing these things versus Saini because he just he does handle multiple sides very effectively. He does indeed handle it very well. And he's just quite content to like spam units such as scorpion tanks out. I feel like going for predator tanks now, transition into uh, tanks. And he's just going to, to like stay put an eco. And I, I do have the map right now. Can probably maybe take out his uh, Tiberium Spike. Maybe I made too many pit bulls. I'm just suiciding them as well. I'm just letting him uh, pick me off like one one pit bull at a time. So yeah, it's going to be pretty bad for me here. I might lose my MCV, but I'm not too concerned about that. I don't think he has a tier three. Don't think he does. Let's take out this uh, power plant though. 
because it is there for taking. Does he have a uh, tip corp? I don't think he does. Is that something there? Just singular blank. We can take that one out. Um, does he have tier 3? Probably got an expansion by now. Going to move my SV back. Oh, fuck's sake. How, how, he's got stealth tanks out now. I'm losing all my stuff to the stealth tanks. And that's GG. So, I guess I'm just not really concentrating too well, guys. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring some quick games for you. Uh, anyway, Technique <laughs> besting me in this uh, small series. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. And, yeah, I, I did exit a bit prematurely, abruptly. But I was just too... What's the word? Uh, tilted by the fact that I lost those previous games uh, in the way that I did. Uh, but I'm playing versus Technique and I really do have to step my game up versus Technique. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, so yeah, uh, please, uh, again, don't forget to download Command Post and use it. This is Master Leaf. Peace out.